Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will talk about how to use this Fredo as Edge plugin guys. This is a new plugin released by Fredo 6 and this is one of the most useful plugin that you must have in your list guys. Okay, so here I am going to uh, teach you how to use this plugin guys. So let's start and uh, please subscribe if you are new on my channel and have fun guys. So So here you can see that this is the individual disk uh, in a group that is created. Uh, okay. So here, first, what you have to do if you want to use this move tool, just click here, press shift button on your keyboard and drag, pressing left mouse button to select the entire model or individually. Okay. So after selecting this, while pressing shift and pressing left mouse button and dragging it like that so you have to select any axis or point to move it like that if you want to move it but if this is not a uh, any different while normal move or this shadow sketch move so this is the interesting point so when you will press alt key every model will move individually as you can see with its on axis you can see okay this is the difference when you will press alt this will happen okay and it will also work with control also okay when you will press alt and when you will press again control the multiple copy option will be activated individually just like that okay so if you want to uh, move at the distance of 5 feet just type 5 and then enter okay same thing will be work with multiple copy option if you will type x and 2 for a multiple option like that x3 x4 x5 like that guys okay so this is the difference between this normal move and this fredo a sketch move guys okay now another useful uh, tricks with this plugin guys you can rotate every models individually while copying it or without copying so for what we we'll have to do now you guys know we are going to discuss how to use this rotator okay so first click here select entire model while pressing alt key okay like that after selection i'm going to click at the center of this individual model okay after clicking over here you can see this model are just rotating at the center of this model but when you will press alt every model will be rotated by its own axis guys okay you can see that this method will work also while pressing control if you want to uh, rotate with a copy option okay just like that if you want to move it at the angle of 50 degree type of momentum and this will also work with a copy option also if you want to press x and 5 this will happen guys just like that okay so this is the interesting things about this plugin guys okay so now another useful thing that i'm gonna tell you here so suppose this is your plane with individual so if you want to select only what is this here first you have to click here press alt key and lift arrow key and drag your mouse to select particular vertices like that okay what you have to do just click here press hold and drag your mouse while pressing left arrow key also and another interesting part press alt again and then move your scroll your scroll button on your mouse up and down to select the matices with this selected thing okay so after selecting you can move it in any direction you want to move it in a blue axis vertically you can move it okay so here you can see that there are so many other options available from linear to peak okay you have to uh, change it if you want to change it just move this cursor here and uh, scroll your mouse button up and down to select individually guys okay so in a bezier option you can see there are two different options available first one and the second one okay and there is another option that is called a weight option you can increase the weight or decrease the weight like that okay just like that if you want any roughness on your model just click here 
just like that. If you want to increase the roughness, move the scroll but, uh, your cursor over here and the scroll your mouse button up and down like that to increase the roughness. Okay, this is zero percent and this is the hundred percent. So just click here and make it more a smoother. If you want to more smoother, you have to untick here. Okay, zero percent means more smoother. Okay, guys, there are many options available here. You just by clicking over here, selecting individually, or just move your cursor here to scroll your scroll down button in your mouse to change the options just like that. Okay. So I think this plugin are definitely gonna help you. Uh, you can download through the link in the description. Now the other things I'm gonna tell you that if you wanna do same thing with this rotate tool, you just have to click here, press Alt, and select your vertices. Again, press Alt, and then. Uh, Increase the smoother selection by a scrolling your mouse button up and down like that. Okay, if you want to select like that. Okay, so here you can see this is the blue. Blue selection means this is a more effective uh, vertices. Red one is this, and yellow is very less effective while rotating your vertices. So here I am going to rotate it. I am pressing left arrow key to lock the green axis okay no i am rotating it like that okay you can rotate it just like that and change from here so i hope this plugin gonna help you and uh, if you have any questions regarding this plugin you can comment in the comment section guys and uh, thanks for watching please subscribe my channel for more content like that and uh, have fun guys see you next tutorial thank you